I must say that it is such a pleasure and a privilege to visit Calcutta, the intellectual capital of the country. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, members of the governing board, deans, faculty, staff, friends and families of the graduating students, students, distinguished guests, honorary degree awardees, and most importantly, the graduating students and the honorary degree awardees. My felicitations to you on this joyous occasion. I am indeed delighted to be part of the celebration of the success of the graduating class. Congratulations to the passing out students, their parents, their guardians, and their teachers. This is the time for you, the graduating students, to salute your parents, guardians, and teachers for their sacrifice and support to you during your successful marathon. Dear graduating students, graduation is a watershed event in one's life. Today you are making a commitment to yourself and to the Indian society to be competent, informed, disciplined, honest, hardworking, proactive, fair, enthusiastic and committed agents of our country's progress. Progress in every society requires an optimal utilization of the available resources. Competent engineers and scientists like you are scarce resources in a developing country like India. They must be leveraged optimally and even more carefully than the other resources like raw materials, finance, domestic and foreign investments, and infrastructure. This country has made impressive economic progress during the last three decades. The expectations of our citizens have been raised why a nation fails to meet the expectations of its citizens, economic growth is not due to the paucity of talent or of other resources. It is due to the lack of professionalism of the country's educated youth. Hence, I will talk to you today about the importance of professionalism for our country and how every one of you can become a high quality professional. This is a topic close to my heart. The contents of this speech are very similar to the ones I have given a couple of times in the past on similar occasions. After all, the occasion is similar. Therefore, my message too is similar. Who is a professional? A professional is one who is dedicated to his or her profession and lives by its rules and ethics. The profession can be engineering, science, medicine, music, law or a game like cricket. Such a professional is value-based, competent, and focused on service to the society. Today I will dwell on the qualities that help create this mindset. Whenever I use the word he, I mean both male and female professionals. A professional owes allegiance primarily to his profession and not to any person. Accordingly, 
He does not let personal relations interfere with his professional dealings. He is fair and is unbiased. He starts every transaction on a zero base and does not carry any bias from prior transactions to the current transaction. He makes objective decisions based on the analysis of the available data. He believes and operates according to the principle, in God I trust, everybody else must bring data to the table. Thus everyone in the organization, no matter how high or low he or she is in the institutional hierarchy, has an equal opportunity to convince him on any issue. Consequently, everyone is confident, happy and enthusiastic in dealing with him. He has high aspirations since he believes that this is the first step in achieving a noble goal. He believes in the adage, a plausible impossibility